Hello, it's a great privilege for us to have you here. Welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Gamma AI. Gamma AI is a new medium for presenting ideas powered by AI and it is, creates beautiful and engaging content. So with Gamma AI, you can generate documents, decks and web pages in second and you can create a working presentation, a document or, or a web page which you can refine and customize in under a minute and because this is all AI powered. So I'll be leaving the link to that in the description of this video. That is gamma.app. And once you go to gamma.app, you'll come to this site where now you will click up here on sign up for free or down here, sign up for free. And then you'll put your email here and then you'll click on continue. And then you'll put your password and then it'll bring you here where you can now create your workspace name. Here, you can also choose whether it's a team or company, whether it's a team or company or personal. In this case, I'm going to choose personal. And then automatically, you notice it has given me the workspace name, but this is something I can edit and just give it maybe JoshNet presentations. Then I'll click on continue. You can always switch these settings later. So don't worry, whichever thing you'll put there. I'll click on continue to get my gamma settings. And then here, I'll also fill in these questions. How do you plan to use gamma? Is it for work, for school, or personal use? I'll guess now to gamma app generate, where now the AI designer partner will help me to create what I need. Is it a presentation? I can choose presentation. If I want to create an AI document with gamma AI, I'll select that. If I want to create a web page, then I select a web page. In this tutorial, our focus will be on how to create a presentation. So I will click on presentation here. Then down here, I'll also give the topic type, a topic in any language. So you see samples here, a journey through the rainforest, historic basketball games, the secret life of emojis. So I can select any of these topics. But again, I can type my topic. Here, maybe let me give a topic like, maybe a topic like how to prepare for an interview. So with that now, I'll click on send or I'll press, I'll press enter. Then I'll get the points generated for me. So you notice here is the outline of what I would want to do. Then I can also edit these points. You can edit this outline or click continue as it is. So when preparing for an interview, research on the company and the role, evaluate your skills and experience, prepare responses to some interview questions. You notice there are some obvious questions that will be there in an interview. For instance, a question on tell us about yourself. It's a very common question. So you can actually edit all this, research on the company and the role. Maybe I want to type there, you're applying for, and then I can also type these others. If I'm not really happy with what was generated, I can click on try again. But in this case, I'm satisfied with this. And then now, from there, I'll click on continue. So I'll be now requested to pick a theme here. So you notice we have pick a theme. And the themes are here on the right hand side. You notice we have the dark ones, we have the bright ones, and we have different styles for the same. So you are free to explore all this but I'll just choose one. Let me choose this. But again, if you don't want to choose, you can click on surprise me so that Gamma AI picks for you, which is a good thing. This is AI generated. You don't have to rely on doing everything. But in this case, I would don't want to be surprised. Let me surprise myself. I'll just choose this one. It's bright colored. I click on that. And then you now notice how it will look on this side. If I select the dark one here, you notice how it will look on this side. So it's good that you are able to select a theme and be able to see it live on this side. So let me just select a simple one like this one. And then I'll click on continue. And then, and there it is. So you now notice here for each one of them, that is company culture, jobs, adverts, industry, evaluate your skills, gives me an image gives me another slide with photos. It's generating on education and training. It's now making the slides on uh, prepare responses to common interview questions. 
and then it gives me ideas on how that will be done. So we are just giving it time to generate and then we will be able to view that in details. So you notice up here, AI generating and tells you don't close this tab while generation is in progress. So you basically give it time, but you notice it is fast enough to generate all this. So you can imagine doing this manually, you will not really be able to get all this this fast. So we are going to just give it time. It's now doing the last slide follow up after the interview, still generating. Finally, your presentation up here has finished generating. So now that is my presentation. I can add an item here. I can edit this. So let me just scroll up so that we get an idea of what was generated on how to prepare for an interview. Just look at this one. How to prepare for an interview, for a job interview. Here it tells you, get ready to shine at your next interview. Follow these steps. So this is editable. I can edit this. I can change colors here. I can change the font. Let me actually put that as bold. Let me change the color here. Let me put it at red to just show you how editable that is. So you notice I edited that. If I'm not happy with this photo, I can click on that photo. Then I can edit it here. Edit accent image here. I can click on that. Then I can Google the image here. I can use a different image. Maybe let me use just this one, the first two. The first one is the one that has been selected. So let me select this one that has three people. Then you notice now it has changed. If I click on this one with a guy in a blue t-shirt, you notice now it is, if I'm okay, I click on done. So you now notice we have our image added there. You notice we have all these slides, research the company and role. You can research about company culture, job demands, interviewer background, industry trends. So this is all you can do here. So you can actually edit all these. You notice evaluate your skills and experience. It gives you an image here, which is editable. If I click on card templates, you notice we have the blank, we have the title cards, we have all these which we can use. In terms of text formatting, you can choose the way your titles will appear. You notice we have heading, we have bloated list. Maybe I want maybe like this part to be bloated list. I highlight that and then I'll click here and then I'll click on that. Then you can also decide on the layout options. Will it be two columns? We will notice like this slide has two columns, this column and this column. You can decide on three columns. You can decide on the four columns. You can decide on in times. You can also make a decision in terms of gallery where you combine images, videos, and embeds in a zoomable chorus. So you can decide on that. And when tables are used, you can decide on the number of columns and rows, two by two, three by three. And in terms of smart layouts here, you can decide on the bullet layout, the one we, it's almost the same as the one we explained at the top. Then the text boxes layout, how your text boxes will appear. Will they have an edge around? Will they have a shadow and all that? So if you want to use visual templates here, you click on visual templates on the right hand side, then you can use either vertical timeline, which is two-sided like this one here, then vertical timeline numbered like this side, half of this side, horizontal ones where you have them flowing downwards and all that. For the images, you can decide where you will add your images from. Images, you can upload them from URL and you can also drag and drop. You can use images from Unsplash. You can present either in this tab or you can also present full screen. If now comments are made, you'll be able to get your comments on this section. You simply click on this comment thing and then you can make get your comments here. So you can say something, hello members. And then you, once you're through the comment, you can just click on post comment and the comment is posted so that as you make your presentation, then the people who you have shared with can also be able to get your comments there. If you don't run this section, you simply close it with the lower button there. So you notice under comments, we have one comment here. Then you can view the analytics here. You click on that and then you can check the deck views. In this case, we have zero deck views. We have card engagement again, which is currently also at zero. Remember, you have just created this. So you can view the analytics for your presentation on Gamma Ray. 
Now, the other way you can share this deck is simply by clicking on share. Once you click on that, you'll be able to invite others and add their emails here. You can share publicly, but the good thing is that you can also export. Once you export here, you will actually be simply downloading this presentation. So I'll click on export and you notice now here we have export to PDF. So the PDF will have a badge that is made with gamma ray and more of a watermark and that can be removed if you upgrade to the pro version. So that is simply how you use gamma.ai to develop your presentation. And I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's our pleasure to always have you here.